Welcome to Area 31. It is Sunday afternoon, the 5th of September, 2021. My name is Daniel, and I am starting my own little gaming channel. Sort of. I'm just going to share some gaming experience on my new gaming laptop that I bought earlier this year. So, as 2021 started to roll around, even before that, I began thinking I would like to get into computer gaming. I did it years and years ago, but I never had a real gaming computer until now. So I'll be 62 years old this coming April next year, and I thought this is a perfect opportunity to kind of start to get back into some of the games that I used to love so long ago. I'm hoping to retire at 62, whether full-time or part-time. I really don't know yet. I've got to investigate all that. So I went ahead and ordered a HP Pavilion 15-inch laptop notebook computer way back in February. And uh, I kind of had everything upgraded on it. I don't remember the official cost of it. They had to build it. And they told me it'd be about five to six weeks. But I went ahead and upgraded basically everything on it. And the total cost ended up being almost $1,200 altogether. And like I said, it was supposed to arrive around five to six weeks. It was more like five months because just... There were delays all the time. Every week they were, HP was contacting me and said, oh, there's a delay on this, a delay on that. And they kept in really good touch with me, so it took a long time to get it. But it's arrived, and there it is. It seems to be a really good computer. I bought a nice wireless mouse for it. I have noticed that the battery is not holding charge very good. Uh, it's going dead pretty darn quick, and it seems to be going dead quicker uh, the longer that I have it. So I ran a HP Diagnostics on it twice, and it says it's all good and everything's fine. But I'm probably going to have to contact them. Uh, this thing is under warranty for two years. Uh, I just think that the battery's kind of dying pretty quick on it. Anyway, that's really my only complaint about it. Other than that, it seems to be perfectly fine. So one of the games I wanted to start playing was Train Simulator. So I bought this Train Simulator game years ago and I had it loaded on a computer and I played it and I enjoyed it very much. But that was at least two or maybe even three operating systems ago. So this thing won't work anymore. It's been years since I played Train Simulator. So I went ahead and bought Train Simulator already. I bought the Dovetail game 2021 and I bought that uh, on a download situation. I had to install Steam and all that stuff to make it work and I downloaded it two days ago. It took a while. I'm on a cable modem here and um, I, um, I have a Wi-Fi uh, router situation. It took about an hour to download the game. I paid 54 bucks for it. And uh, I fired it up this morning. And it seemed to work okay. Only I don't remember any of the commands. I don't remember how to even get a train going. So I've got a lot to learn there. But I've got it loaded on the computer now. And I'm looking forward to playing it pretty darn soon. But my main intention when I bought this gaming laptop was get into Flight Simulator. I loved Flight Simulator. I, you're going to laugh at this. I have not played Flight Simulator since uh, Flight Simulator 95 and 98. It has been a really long time. Probably 15 years since I've had a computer that could play either one of those. I enjoyed it. I really did. I flew all over the place. I knew uh, quite a bit about it, but now I've completely forgotten about it. And this is Flight Simulator 2020. I'm really looking forward to it. It's the Premium Deluxe Edition. 
this is the DVD setup that's what I wanted I also wanted that in Train Simulator 2 but I couldn't find it anyway there are 10 CDs or DVDs in this it's gonna take quite a bit to load this I'm gonna wait until my next day off which is gonna be this coming Friday I believe my boss just changed my schedule around a little bit so I am really looking forward to getting that loaded on the system I know some people have had trouble loading this uh, I hope I don't that's why I want to take an entire day off and have an entire day to get this thing set up I'm sure there's going to be a lot of online updates as we go through the process and all that so I'm really looking forward to this the price for this was a hundred and seventy bucks so I've got eleven hundred almost twelve hundred into the computer and now a hundred and seventy into this game I got almost sixty dollars into the train simulator now let's move on to the last component and that is this the Thrustmaster Officer Pack Airbus Edition game controller I did a fair amount of research on this thing, trying to decide which game controller that I wanted for the flight simulator and whatever else I game I get. And this one seemed to be a pretty good deal. Well, it seemed to be what, you know, a lot of people said that this is will work really good with flight simulator. So I went ahead and bought it. It was 230 bucks. So I haven't added all this stuff up yet, but this amounts to a pretty good amount of money. So you probably notice that the Thrustmaster has been sitting over there on the left side of the computer the whole time. I unboxed it already, and I am just about to connect this thing up and try to get it configured to the computer. Okay, I don't know exactly how I'm going to have this set up. I think this is what's going to work best for me having the joystick on the right hand since I'm right-handed and then the thrusters on the left side so we're going to go ahead and plug these in and see what happens all right I just plugged in the joystick and it immediately started doing something so now I know I will need to uh, go online and download some drivers. That's what those papers are to the right. So I need to sit down and have a look at those and start downloading some drivers. Okay, well, I went to the page and looked it up and found the the uh, software to download, the driver to download. But before that, the computer said that it was already all set up. So I actually didn't download that. So now I'm going to go ahead and plug in the thrusters and see what if, if it'll do the same thing. Okay, well, there we go. I plugged in the thrusters and it, the computer just automatically set it up. And it said it's working on it and then said it's all done, it's all set up. So maybe I don't even need to download the drivers. I just don't know. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just wait and then install the game. My flight simulator game and just see what it does maybe it'll all just find it all and set it all up but that's going to be for another time for my next day off whenever that might be probably five days from now but one last thing before i go is i'm going to need to get myself a nice comfortable desk chair unfortunately these this uh, dining room table chair is just not going to be very comfortable even with a pillow on it, it's not going to be a very comfortable thing. I'm not going to want to sit there for a long period of time. So I'm going to need to buy myself a nice desk chair here coming up pretty soon. Thanks for watching.